Hey there everyone, this is Axon. This is a short little one-off. This game moves really quickly, so I don't foresee this being too long a video. And this is actually the second time I've had to record it, because the first time I made a video, but Camtasia eated it. And I actually broke my record on that video, so it's going to be even tougher to beat it this time. But this is a really fun game, where you play a neuron, and you're trying to reach different protein target target targets protein targets, excuse me, in order to grow bigger. And uh, we'll do a quick little tutorial. There is some science behind it. They do take a few liberties with the science, but I'm not really interested in that because this is a really fun game. Uh, and you can look it up later on your own time if you like. I'll put a link to this game in the description because I do think you'll want to play this one. So let's just go ahead and look at how to play here. You got a neuron, and you're trying to get to the dots, which are these different little protein targets. And this uh, white circle is called your circle of influence. You can only reach protein targets that are inside that circle. Oh, <laughs> and I'm getting ahead of the rules there, so uh, you can see how fast this thing withers up. This isn't a game that affords you a lot of time to think, so you've really got to be on the ball. You're just kind of clicking and clicking and hammering away in this game. There's not a lot of time to just stop and think about what you're doing, although it comes more naturally than you would think. There are power-ups involved, and uh, it's pretty it's pretty intense, but it's not as hard as I'm making it seem. And you got these rival neurons, which are rendered in red here, and they're trying to get to the same protein targets you are, so they can cut you off at the pass pretty easily. So anytime you see one of those, best to hightail it away from them. And we have these uh, power-up proteins, too. They're different colors, and they do different things. You got a green one here. No, purple. Purple is the first one that comes up first in the how to play thing. Purple makes your bubble way bigger so that you can uh, get to farther away get to farther away deals there, although it doesn't look like Mr. Demo Guy is really taking advantage of that opportunity. And you have the green ones. They boost you up a little bit. It's kind of like the extend thing in Bubble Bobble that lets you skip a few levels, so to speak. And freeze will keep your bubble from shrinking. It only takes about one or two seconds for your bubble to shrink, so any time spent not shrinking, that is definitely great. And if you see any red neurons on the screen, they'll freeze if you happen to touch it, so that gives you some time to get away from them. Because those guys have good AI, and they're really good at cutting you off. And then you have the yellow ones that act like the green ones. But you've got to touch four of them in sequence to get the boost up. And you get boosted way farther than you would with the green. It's not as hard as it seems. If you Once you get into the spirit of it, it's not too bad. And it looks like we're done with that, so now is as good a time as any to begin. And we'll just go ahead and I'll just click this one right here real quick. To just show you how, just kind of how fast this game moves. That couldn't have been any more than two seconds there. And whenever, you, uh, whenever you're whenever you finished, it'll tell you how long your neuron was in micrometers. And see, there's my best right there, 47,568. I don't foresee myself being that, but who knows? I could get on a roll and things could go well. And then it will tell you what kind of neuron you made. So there is an educational slant to the game, which is actually pretty awesome. And you click it, and it takes you to the Wikipedia page for that, which uh, I'm not going to move this window over here, but... That made it, when you just do one like that, it makes an amacrine cell, which is apparently part of the retina. Bipolar cells, which are responsible for the other 30% of input to retinal ganglia. And it'll tell you what the neuron you made does. And so it's pretty cool that way to see what the... It doesn't take long to play the game, but then you get to see what the thing you made does. So there is that motivation to do well and see what you can get out of it. So let's go ahead and play a serious round. We'll play maybe two or three serious rounds of this, and that'll give you the idea, and then you can go play it yourself. And it looks like we're going to be headed off to the left here, but I'm going to try to hit all of these that I can. Generally in the early going... Generally in the early goings, you can only go up for a few neurons, and then that's when things start branching out. And then as you... Whoa! Did it hit two in a row there? Oh, here's a rival neuron. See? He already cut off one of the ones I wanted to get to, so the thing is, do you want to get away from, uh, from those as quickly as possible? And I am just clicking like a madman here, hammering the mouse. Oh, crap. Get away, get away, get away, get away! He took the green thing that I wanted. And purple it gives you great range so that you can get away from them much faster if you go to the outside of your bubble. But yeah, I am clicking and I am hammering away like a madman, because that's the way you want to do this. You saw how fast this little circle wilted 
when I just left it to its own devices. So you're basically, that's where the uh, not thinking kind of comes in. Away from me, purple or red neuron. Hey, I'm in another guy's hood. That won't get us too far away from him, but it will do for now. Oh, cruddy. Oh, cruddy dud. Those red neurons really know how to cut you off there. And it looks like I skipped a yellow. That's... Aw. Oh, I didn't mean to skip the purple. We want to get out of his way. Let's go over way to the left here. There we go. Okay, he's encroaching on our territory. Hey, we came over here to get away from you. Don't you have some protein targets of your own to reach, buddy? Come on. Oh, crap. We kind of dead-ended ourselves there. But it looks like we've grown a pontine mossy fiber projecting neutron. What is that? What does that do? Always click the Wikipedia link, because that's fun. Let's see. Part of the ponds involved in motor activity... Uh, da, 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 da. They therefore allow modification of actions in the light of their outcome, or error correction, and are hence important in learning motor skills. See, there's always something fun to learn in this game over here. It took us to, uh, it redirected us to just Ponty Nuclei. It was a little simpler than it seemed, but see, and we clicked 265 proteins, and we didn't pick up any yellow chain one-ups. Then again, they didn't really give us any that time. They were kind of stingy with the power-ups in that round. Well, the yellow ones, anyway. We got plenty of the others. Not really much need to... <laughs> Dang it! Every time I get in the neighborhood of a green, a yellow pops up. Maybe... Oh, here we go. There! See how much more ground we gain when we get a yellow one. But you have to click all four of the dots in sequence as they pop up, so... It is not easy, and you really have to be thinking on your toes. And thank goodness we found that, because that gave us the opportunity... Where? Oh, wow. For some reason, I thought there was a rival one in the neighborhood. Now I'm just getting paranoid. Look what you're doing to me. You're tearing me apart, game. Let's use our sphere of influence here to get way out. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Don't be stealing my target things. Man, he got me good. And uh, Hey, that is bad language, game. <laughs> no, 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 no. What is a nigrostriatal neuron? What does that do? Redirects us to substantia nigra. Plays an important role in reward, addiction, and movement. Substantia nigra is Latin for black substance. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. For black substance, reflecting the fact that parts of the substantia nigra appear darker than neighboring areas. Supplies it with dopamine. Oh, it's a happy-making neuron. Well, that makes me happy, even though I didn't break a record or anything. That definitely makes me plenty happy. Let's go ahead and play one or two more games here. Let's try to get serious and see if we can't beat the record. The circle doesn't start going until you actually click, so you have time to psych yourself up a little. You have time to get ready. So, all right, let's get serious about beating that 47,000 score. And go. See, this is way more addictive than Proke. I stopped playing Proke after one day, basically. Oh, hey, wow, good thing I had that there. Yeah, Proke was... Proke was cool and all, but... I mean, ironically, even though this game is about the brain, you don't have to think about it as much, so... uh It is pretty cool, but you are thinking some, and, I mean, you're definitely exercising your brain, that's for sure. You're like, huh, 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 huh. There, yes. See, all this clicking and hammering away is uh, much more addictive than you might think. Wow, that one really kind of strained me there. Oh, wow, landed right on a uh, freezy one. Excellent. Oh, boy. Now we're in a part where things are getting a little more sparse, and we've got this guy in the neighborhood, so... But it looks like some deft clicking saved the day there. Usually, I just try to go straight up through the neurons. That is generally the best recourse. A thalamic relay neuron. Thalamic, thalamus. It's just relaying things to the cerebral cortex. That's not one of the more exciting ones. Let's play one more round here, and then you can go try it on your own, and you can tell me how awesome it is. Be like, thank you for showing me this awesome browser game. Oh, it's no problem, sweetie. 
Ooh, I wonder which way we're going to have to go here. Ba ba ba. Okay. One more serious round. And see, the game only lasts about a minute or so. Each round only lasts about a minute. So you can get in a good few rounds when you're on a, I guess, lunch break or something, or you're having lunch. I was juggling a sandwich and playing this earlier. Not while I was recording, but just while I was testing it and everything. All right. Those yellows are the way to build your score right there. Assuming you don't bump into the nasty or red neurons there. Yes, get thee behind me, satanic red neuron. I am the only neuron in the brain that can be allowed to succeed. Can't you see that? No, 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 don't steal my proteins. You jerk. Oh, well, that's it for, uh, that's it for that. Uh, you can go try it yourself, and let me know how awesome it is. Have fun.